morning in the Roadshow Kitchen. We want to thank GoProvidence.com for bringing back in milk money. Chef Nick is here, and we have the water boiling already because we are making a pasta dish. What are we making today? We are making a rabbit tortellini. Rabbit tortellini. Okay. Gotta say, never had that one before, but I love tortellini, so I'm open to it. Take us through the ingredients, what we need. All right. So um, earlier we made a lamb demi almost. Uh, just took the braising liquid, cooked it way down, a little mm -hmm. bit of parm rinds, give that nice creaminess. Um, we have English peas, there's pickled purple carrots, some chili threads, and some pea greens to garnish. Chili threads? Yes. I don't think I've ever seen them in that form. Is that like chili Yeah, so you, you buy them that way, they're just really thin threads of chili pepper. Huh. There's a little bit of, little bit of heat, but Interesting. not adding too much. Um, and tell us about the dough. Yes, yeah, so it's a yolk pasta dough. We use all yolks, mm -hmm. um, just regular flour for this one. Gives it that nice crunch to her texture. And pasta, I think, is a staple for so many people, and we forget just how easy it is to make. Pasta or tortellini in this case. Yeah, it is. Very, dough's very simple. Not many ingredients. Two ingredients, really. Mm -hmm. Really easy. Uh, what did you have to do to the rabbit? I know we're making rabbit tortellini. It's, yeah, is so it like did, pulled or? Yeah, we braised it down, uh, cooked it with some mirepoix, carrot, celery, onion, mm. some marjoram in there, garlic, okay. white wine. Um, cook it for about three hours, and we just shred the meat, mix it with a little bit of eggs, ricotta, okay, and some more fresh marjoram. Interesting. So minimal ingredients. I, I, we always like seeing when the counter is like kind of bare because I feel like we can tackle <laughs> recipes like this. It's not always on the menu, but you said you're running it. It was right a special now. we did this weekend. Okay. Probably run it for this week for a little while. Sounds good. Okay. Well, if you're interested in making it, we're going to show you how it's done. Stick around. We are headed back to the kitchen with Michaela. Hey, yeah, Michaela. that's right. We have some tortellini on the menu with Chef Nick from Milk Money. Thanks to GoProvidence.com for bringing them in. And we need to get started. So where do we stand? So we're going to start rolling them out and make some tortellinis right now. Okay. So I got it most of the way rolled out here. And Still. these are great. Those little attachments for the KitchenAid. Yeah, they're very handy. Use it for all sorts of doughs. Any tips for when we're doing this? Obviously, watch your fingers, I'm sure. Yeah, watch your <laughs> fingers. Um, don't use too much flour. Towards the end, you want the dough to stick to itself. Okay. If you're making like a fettuccine or spaghetti, something like that, you can use enough flour. Is I, I've watched some other shows too, and when they use this, you have to dial it to different numbers. Yeah. What number do you suggest for a tortellini? So or for this some one? of them are different. The one okay. I use at my house is completely different than this one. This is mm -hmm. the one we use in the kitchen at the restaurant. Uh, but pretty much the the thinnest setting it's got. Okay. Some of them maybe one before that. Mm-hmm. So. You're making a couple little slices here. Was that just to square it off at yep. first? Okay. We're just making some squares right now. For our tortellini. And we're about just gonna about how large in. do we want these? Uh, probably about inch and a half by inch and a half. Mm -hmm. You need enough to extra to work with, fold them over. Right, yeah. The better the square it is, the better the tortellini is going to come out. Mm hmm. So maybe about like a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of filling here. It's the okay. rabbit we had braised with the ricotta. That's right, because this isn't a giant ravioli. You don't need to overstuff it. These are tortellini, so they should be like a yeah, just one bite filling. sort of. And again, that rabbit was cooked with a little mirepoix, and then you shredded it up. and. Yep, and we added ricotta, fresh oh, okay. marjoram, a um, couple of eggs to bind. That's right. So let's use a little egg wash here. Help it stick to each other. Mm -hmm. Swipe the edges. And we'll, all right, now you're going to teach us the trick to a tortellini fold. Yes. So we'll pretty much just fold it into a triangle. Mm hmm. And then, like a half fold up and wrap it around the thumb. Pinch it together. Oh, wow, look at that. That was quick. Maybe show us one more time as we're wrapping things up. So we are well on our way to making our rabbit tortellini. Look at that. Just a couple little folds and then a twist, like you said, right around your thumb. And you can make homemade tortellini yourself. We will finish things up in just a bit. We are back one last time in the Roadshow Kitchen with Milk Money. Thanks to GoProvidence.com for bringing in this spot. Chef Nick is here. And we're making a tortellini recipe that's filled with um, rabbit that you had made. We've got to say we've never had that before. Uh, but we're excited to try it. I know our water's boiling away. But before we get to dumping the uh, fresh pasta in there, what do we need to add to it? So, yeah, we're going to start building the sauce before we do the pasta in. Um, here we got a little bit of this rabbit demi we had made. We took the braising liquid, cooked it way down, a little bit of Parmesan rinds. Mm -hmm. So we'll go in with that. Uh, 
Uh, this is a little salty, the demi, so we're going to cut it with some cream to okay. mellow that out. But good to know we don't have to be adding salt to it. It's kind of doing its own thing. Yeah. There are some people that you put salt in front of them, and they'll pour it on everything oh, before yes. they even taste it. So d take Nick's advice. Do the <laughs> demi glaze first. That'll replace the salt. Uh, so then we're just going to add some English peas, warm mm -hmm. those back up. Uh, so we'll drop the pasta now. Okay. These are the ones we had blanched previously. I find it's better. Pasta holds up a little bit longer sometimes as they sit. Okay. The bottoms just get sticky. They stick to the container they're in. Mm. So I'm, I'm a big fan of blanching. And then it makes your cooking even faster because you just got to really kind of warm it yeah. back up. Just warm it up and then finish it in the sauce. Beautiful. So we're going to let that sauce go for just a little bit. Tell us what's going on over at Milk Money. Um, so I just started over there a little bit ago, probably about six weeks. Um, so we've been rolling out new menus. We got a new dinner menu we started probably mm -hmm. three weeks ago. Uh, started a new brunch menu a week ago. Oh, good brunch. When do you do brunch? Is it both days of the weekend or just Sundays? Do, yes, Saturday, Sunday from 9 to 2 right now. Awesome. And I'm sure a lot of uh, popular breakfast items. What yes. do you have? Uh, obviously, we have an Eggs Benedict. You can get it with the regular ham. We do mm -hmm. uh, English muffin bread we make in-house. Uh, we got French toast with macerated berries and whipped cream. Those Yum. are big sellers. We do uh, pork hash with sweet potatoes and chilies. So lots of options there. Lots of options. We also have fresh pasta options. We do a cavatelli right now, mm -hmm. uh, carbonara what? style. So it's got the bacon in it, the peas. Mm -hmm. A little of springy. everything. And like you said, this dish just on special right now. Um, because but you're always trying to highlight something new and incorporate a new special item. Yes, yeah. We're always trying to play with different things, build on the menu, um, definitely keep the menu seasonal. Mm -hmm. So we're always changing. The more you can learn, the more yeah. we can make the menu develop. Especially around here, like the seasonality of things. You'll you'll come into different vegetables and whatnot, depending on the time of year. So that must be fun for you as a chef to yes, just definitely. work with what you got. <laughs> yeah, especially rolling out with the all the farms are coming out with their veggies now. Finally, yeah, which is well, that's great. a nice treat for you, I'm sure. Yeah, having the fresh right in your own backyard. All right, so we're gonna let that coat in all the yep. sauce. Try to thicken that up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then what gets, are the rest of the ingredients just to, to top it off? Yeah, so we more don't of have a to... garnish with everything. Okay. So we have the pickled purple carrots here, the chili mm. threads we talked about earlier, and some pea greens from our local farmer. Yum. You work with a lot of local, local yes, groups Yes, starting there, to. Um, we have this one guy who does a lot of pea greens. His kales are amazing. All of his lettuce. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see he's what like else he's got. He's like the green guy. He, yep. He's got all the greens covered. Yep, he does. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to develop more more relationships with local farms, mm -hmm. keep everything local, and trying to source our meat local, our hey, chickens from the local farm. And you know what? Customers love that too. You know, yep. We want to know where our food is coming from and I love that you guys have this nice collaboration between the local growers and then the restaurants in our area. It's nice to see. Yeah, I feel it's important for restaurants too. Mm -hmm. It's good for the environment. People like to see it too nowadays. Yeah. Support the local farmer. Certainly. And then support a place like you guys. Where are you located? Um, 566 South Water Street in Providence. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little spot. Side. Perfect. All right, so we're going to plate this up. Yes. I'm and uh, top things off. Oh, yeah, go yeah. right ahead. Don't forget, uh, if you want to learn how to make this dish, it requires really kind of minimal ingredients. You can find the recipe over at roadshow.com so you can make it for yourself at home, and we'll show you the finished shot to close out the show.